Hello, my loves. It is. Oh, color. Man, this color is really. This might be a winner for like a good color that stays in my hair. I'm impressed. Uh, it is Thursday, July 29th, 2021. There is a tornado warning watch something. I think it's passed, but there was a big ass tornado. Uh, EF3, I believe, not too far from here. Uh, which is horrifying. Uh, I have lived in New Jersey my entire life and I have never, ever in my life uh, born witness to a tornado warning, let alone two in one month. There, we had one on like the ninth and that's horrifying. But anyway, I'm here. Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on for the rest of the weekend. I don't think I'm gonna be around on Saturday. Uh, but I'm here right now, so let's, I'm just gonna jump in. Nothing big's going on. I don't have any, like, major housekeeping to do, so. So, we didn't just want to get to be something fine. Oh, God. Dude, fucking same. Like, I had friends that were like, you don't, you don't live in Trenton, do you? And I'm like, no, I don't, thankfully. But I was not happy to see that there was another fucking tornado watch in effect. Ooh, we just got a letter. Oh, it's from the Burger King. I don't even remember who I made Burger King. That's been a while. So, uh, for those of you who were not here the last couple streams, we are on the quest to find the four gems we need to unlock the Darker Lord's Tower. Oh good, everybody's healed up. We just gotta wonder who it's from. Dude, <gasps> Karen wants a thing. Karen wants a thing. Please, oh, <gasps> please. I mean, I'm gonna buy it for you even if it's not heart armor. Like, I'm happy. This is, this is good armor. I'm not gonna make it red because red is not a good color, but that's pretty sweet. I'll do that. Wonder who it's from. Burp. Oh, I want an outfit too. Oh, a super costume? Yeah, okay, I'll spend money on myself. I'm not gonna wear it though, it's really ugly. Cause we're the heart crew, we're magical pals, damn it. Yeah, only equip stats. Someday Karen will end up with one. Today is not that day. And I only have three arcade tickets, so I'm not even, unless it's like, mm, what is it? Brick tank, nope, sorry. Let us set off. Do I have my team back? One, two, three, okay. We go oot and a boot. Ah, uh, okay, we were doing, Oh, okay. That's right, I forgot that I was doing. Oh God, this is, so we're pretty much, I'm, I'm sure we're gonna spend the entire night in just doing the labyrinth. Let's go up this time. We are still fighting. Oh no, um, I, it didn't say that we were, but we'll find out. Oh, fucking noses. What? Oh, okay, Liz can one hit them now. That's good. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily think we're fighting anymore. No, we're still fighting, god damn it. You guys doing okay? I think you're you're too far north for that tornado warning, but Aww. You guys got it too? I think it's mostly past here. It's a 
supposed to be a bit like further south of me, but I'm just like, ugh. Hopefully something will happen that will, it's in game, I hope something will happen that will make Ez and I not fight anymore. Our <laughs> interaction, yeah, basically. I love watching everybody fall off the damn horse. All right, ooh, let's sharpen in claws, which means I get to do a punishing pitchfork. Ah, oh, this is gonna be sick good. Yes, tell me, tell me more about the cursed unique run. I haven't been since the before times. Oh, come on, me. I'm so pissed off. Oh, you found books. Really? Huh. American doll books? What? You did not tell me about those. What is that? I must know. Oh my god. If you have pictures of them, I would love to see that. Because I did not see that in your initial cursed post. <laughs> that was really funny to me. Just the single, like... <laughs> Good job, everybody. I think we won. Ah, bother. Okay. That's so funny though. Like I, I truly love finding like cursed bootleg stuff. No, why is the fucking nose is always here? I hate the fucking noses. They're not supposed to be here. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta do some sprinks. Those were fun. I enjoyed them. I gotta say, as much as I love dolls, I do not like porcelain dolls. They're, they don't really do anything for me. Cause it feels like with, okay, so with porcelain dolls, it just makes me feel like they're meant for like grandmas and who, grandmas who think they're gonna be worth something someday. That's the problem. Oh no. Like, wait, what kind of ter- like a, like a bad pun Christian t-shirt? Or like... Okay, that's... That's terrible Christian t-shirt, but it's not like offensive. It's just bad pun, so I appreciate that. Moses was a me? Oh, oh no! Oh my god, that sounds like something that we could have put into this game. We could have made Moses. Hey Des! Ooh, we've eaten 20 MP candies. That means they're gonna be better. You know, not like we've got 400 of them. Why have we only eaten 20? Thoughts on hot toys. <sighs> okay, so hot toys. I appreciate and respect the amount of like, like they are so incredibly detailed, but 500 fucking dollars. Oof, that is, that is a lot. Like, I, mm, I don't know how, I, I don't know how I feel about the price point. I like them. Ooh. Oh, look at that! They're friends now. See, now to watch a cheese with a cheese Danish. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Hey, Liz. Oh no! Oh god, that is grocery shopping with a migraine is like top level terrible. So I, oof. 
Oh, you know what I can do? You know what I'm gonna do? Hey, Ez, we're gonna go stargazing. Oh, this is embarrassing? What do you mean, oh, this is embarrassing? A shooting star! I say if you make a wish on one. You surely can- You know what, I think that's, um, like, aftermarket prices for ones that aren't- that are hard to cut and buy. Ouch. Yay, quarrel's over. Okay, good. But yeah, I, I definitely, some of the, um, some of the ones that have been, like, out of print for, or I don't want to say out of print, because that's for books, but, like, the retired ones, I've seen go for $500,000, and I'm like, 500 to 1,000, not 500,000. Um, but I like them. I think that the sculpts are really, really well done, um, and that's a lot better than like what you you know just like regular I've tried to see exactly but yeah so now we gotta now we gotta know Yoda which which hot toys do you have because I most of the hot toys I've seen have been uh superhero related which I don't I'm not as into superheroes, so I'm I'm just curious. I'm like, ooh, I want to know. Oh, is it time to get as it's time to get as a frying pan? Have a frying pan as Captain Marvel. Ah, okay. You know what? Valid. I respect that. That's one that I would. That's one that I would consider. Had pepper pots because I got her in clearance. Nice. I have mostly, ooh, ouch. I have mostly only seen uh, DC variants. Like uh, the, the one guy I was following on YouTube for a while, uh, they haven't updated in effing forever, but they had, he had a lot of like the different Batmans and the Jokers and the, oh, okay, I fix, I fix, don't worry, stuff. Weapon appearance. There we go. All better. That's right, it matches your outfit. Black Widow from Winter Soldier, but she deteriorated. That's... That's interesting. Hmm. Like, I mean, okay, I collect... I collect most of, like, Playline dolls. So, like, the kind that you can get at the regular old... Um, the regular old, like, toy store. You know. Not that those exist anymore. Um. Oh, what did I find, huh? Ah! Oh, I was sleeping. That one is really nice. The Margot Robbie Har Harley Quinn. I, I, yes, it's a nice one. But so even what I've noticed with like my dolls is that some of them have started to discolor because of the amount of glue in the head that keeps the hair in place. Mostly, we're not going anywhere. Just give a shot if you need. Hey, hey, aye, aye. Bleh. What are words? No problem, Liz. Have fun. Oh, you collect them and did bank work. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Hey, Riley. The mood is tense after such a long journey. Watch it. No, you watch it. Oh, and you're both stubborn, so if you're gonna fight, don't, don't fucking, no. Yeah. Um. Sorry about before. No, it's my fault. The relationship has deepened. That's better than anticipated. Yay. Oh, you guys didn't know when to hand yet. No, Ez, it's good! It's good! Ended up being the good! 
<laughs> oh, I do not like the noise. The nose noise. Oh, no, 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 no! They both need to go! <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes. So I think honestly the closest I get to like hot toys level, I don't wanna say like prices. Uh, I do have some like figure arts, but I bought those mostly at around like a $40 price point. And now some of them are very expensive. I don't have, I don't have any of the Sailor Moon ones in here anymore, though I have most, I actually have most of the Sailor Moon ones in box. Um, but the only out of box one I have in here is uh, Android 21, my favorite non-canonical android woman. I love her. She's great. Trust people in fucking donuts. She even comes with like a little donut as her little prop. It's so funny. And also it's funny to me um, because I see a lot of people having, let's say spirited discussions. Oh, the husbands want to talk. Let's talk to them. Spirited discussions about Funko Pops versus Nendoroids. And frankly, I don't think they're comparable enough to, com to, to do like a sincere comparison of. Oh, good! The husband's no share now! Feels like, okay. I read an article once. Because I, I covered, the one year I got to cover Toy Fair for um, non-productive. And that was, that was awesome. That was one of the coolest things I've ever had the experience of doing. Um, but basically the only booth that would let me in because I didn't have any prior appointments because it was a really last minute, uh, uh, it was a really last minute assignment. Um, so Funko was like the only booth that would let me in. And it was, they, they just had so much cool stuff. And I, I started doing some research on the, not necessarily like the brand, but I did like a recap for the, uh, for non-pro. And what it basically turned, what is the, uh, no, no, I'm not doing that. I don't have enough money for that shit right now. Um, what it basically came down to in my research is that Funko Pops were extremely popular with women and children, AKA not necessarily the demographic that they started out targeting, but a very strong one. And they just decided to roll with it, which I appreciated. Like that's not something you often see, especially in... Where'd the sound go? Give me a second, I need to fix something. Boop. Hmm. The sound disappeared. Are you guys still getting sound? Oh. Wow, I'm an idiot. I turned the volume down on my headset. That's, that's fun. Oh, sweet. I'll have to go check that out. That was really dumb. I was like, I was having like a spirited conversation and didn't even realize that like my thigh. Yeah, at least it was a quick fix and not like restarting my damn computer fix. Um, but yeah, basically what they what they found was that because they had such a diverse range of properties, and a very, and ultimately very low price point, Funko Pops were very popular with women and children, which 
makes nerd guys mad because nerd guys want nerd things all to themselves. Um, so the fact that there were things that were targeted towards women, and yeah, they are very simple. They are not necessarily the, the most, like, appealing design, but they cover a lot of properties that don't otherwise have licenses out. Like, their their first licenses were for old Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Which I found really interesting. So, I, even if... Even if I don't always like them, like, I'm not a big fan of the ones that are just, like, people, unless those people have, like, really really notable features. Like, cartoon people? Fine. But, like, you know, your, your Dean Winchesters and, you know, your 57 different variants of Sportsman, um, they don't really do it for me. Why is this all just running noses and silver glyphs? I hate it. Oh, Doris! Doris, my savior. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to sprank. And I'm going to use the big boy. Doris is ready to kill the noses. Doris has had enough of the damn noses. We're going to do some Doris whispering. Pokey poke. Also, hate, hate the noise that they make. The nose, the nose noise, hate it. It's terrible. Ooh, level up for Liss. Learn Steel Grub. Snatch food from other under enemies' noses. Doesn't always work. Oh, that should be fun. But like, okay. I'm on I'm on a tangent, so we're we're tangenting right now. This is one of my favorite Funko Pops. Because, like, it's so untraditional. Aaron is thirsty. What? Oh, a bottle of water! Ugh. Drink it! Ugh. But yeah, like, I love the detail on this one. I have this I have the um the griffin and I have the uh of course I have the medusa because why wouldn't I have them but I like these because they're so unique like this isn't yeah it's got like the, your standard Funko Pop eyes but it's not your typical sculpt the bottle was full of sand Oh no, and oh, new skill! You're gonna use Steel Grub, all right. Fragrant tea stolen. Cool! Oh, I need some, I need Sprinks. But yeah, and anyway, Nendoroids are a much more, I don't wanna say niche demographic, but they're, the properties they cover are a lot more niche than Funko Pop. Like, Funko Pop has, like, fucking everything. Um. And that's fine. But, Nendoroids I've found are either, like, mostly, um, mostly anime properties and I've seen fairly recently they got into like some of the um, Marvel properties. Eh. What I'd really like to see, and this is this is like the one license uh, Funko does not have. I want, I want Mario Kingdom Funko Pops because I think those would be hilarious. Can you guys imagine a Waluigi Funko Pop? That would be amazing. Like, it, it would be terrible. I want a dozen of them. 
Like, I think they would just be fun. <gasps> we first get 1,500 people! Yeah, I'm, I, and the thing is, like, I'm sure, I'm sure that Funko has tried to chase that license, but I'm sure also that Nintendo is very protective of it. Oh no, who's sick? No! Not Karen! Not my sweetie! I hope you feel better soon. Oh, me and Ezra probably like each other at this point. Oh. It's the sand. It's gotta be the sand. Wait. Oh. Okay, so I was looking at this and thought it was like a Mr. Saturn looking in the window. It's just a pile of sand. It has to be. All right. Right, it looked like a head. It looked like a Mr. Saturn. All right, if Karen's sick, that means I want... I think I want Mitch, because he's got some of the other stronger attacks. He's my, he's my, my backup. Okay, we only have two more runs for this to do. Good lord. Feed the Jenny Bean! No! No, 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 X. Leave. Yes. We're gonna try that one again, because I fucked up. I need to go either straight or down, not up. Oh! There we go, we'll go straight this time. This time we must go up. Aha! Un fight. <sighs> I am so exceptionally annoyed that this area is all fucking noses. They're so gross. is a travesty. They're so disgusting. All right, Ez, cook, cook them up. <laughs> hey, Cheesy. Yeah, they're terrible. It's the worst. I hate it. Oh, listen, Doris. Yeah. List my heaviest hitter. I think we won. Ooh, level up for Mitch. Nice. Learned absorb. Restore a friend's HP when they take damage. Cool! The move wanted me to twerky in the noses. I just want to talk. Liss, by far, every time we play this, I know we talk about how amazing your freaking catchphrase is, but oh, it's so good! Alright, punishing pitchfork on the noses. before an underrated game being brought back into reboot or having a sequel in the future? I think it depends on if it has like a cult following. Because I can see that like there are definitely games that maybe were not like critical darlings uh, but ended up having a large cult following and therefore ended up getting at least like DLC. That's a good question. I would I would be curious to see. I like I feel like that's not entirely out of the realm of possibility, but I think it depends on a couple of factors. Like I said, it depends on if it's got like a cult following. It depends on how much the creator loves the project. Because if the creator doesn't like the project, I'm sure they probably wouldn't want to continue. Yeah, like Evil Dead, exactly. It happens with movies all the time. Um 
so, and I mean, obviously I know that video games probably uh, require a lot more effort than movies. It's, you know, they're... But I don't, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. Ah, probably likes. Good job. Avenge. Oh, Karen's still sick. Did I see Evil Dead? I think I saw Evil Dead. Which is, oh no. Oh, we just leveled up the horse, okay. Yay, Doris. Okay, let's see. <sighs> okay, I'm level 13 with Karen, 15 with Liss. Only nine with Ez? Okay, then I stay there. You know what? No, you know what this means. If I'm only level nine with Ez, let's go on another outing. Karen has to be, like, not dead for me to get the magical girl armor. Let's go to... A... Oh, no, I can't do horsing around. Let's do shopping. Yay. I can't wait to go shopping. Are you going to Sushi Palace? <gasps> Cheesy. I have not had Sushi Palace since, since my bachelorette party. Oh my God. Des, Sushi Palace is the, so last, I, I did hear, and I don't know if this is the, the case for all of the sushi palaces, palaces, palaces plural, I guess, uh, but the sushi palace by my parents' house is still not open for indoor dining. They're, on, they're takeout only. I appreciate that. Thank you for looking out for me. God, I fucking love, I love sushi so much. And sushi palace is like... First off, there's like a million of them. And I mean, by a million, I mean at least three of them in New Jersey. So I'm always, always here for Sushi Palace. All right, this is the last path for this particular. I think what I might do, when Somerville's taken only, the one Edison is dining. Ah, okay. Yeah, Somerville's still takeout only. And I know there's another one somewhere. I think it's up in like Mars County. But it's so good. I freaking love Sushi Palace. Ah. Uh. There's one in Canada? I don't know if that's the same Sushi Palace, but. Look at that, we're friends again. <gasps> That's rude. That's extremely rude. Ugh. Oh, for sure, Cheesy, for sure. And you guys save room for like, all the little ice creams at the end? Hang on, now I need to do a Google while we're having, while we're doing this fight. Okay, so there's one in Somerville, one in Edison, and one in Princeton. I have been to the one in Edison, but I've been to the other two. I just, I love going to a diner after getting, okay, you know what, that's valid. And I think, well, considering you're in Edison, I think I know what diner you might be going to, so. I had, I had a milkshake today. Um, but we, uh, we went to, <laughs> we got, um, what the fuck is it called? Mm, come on, brain. We went to, 
Shake Shack for dinner. That's what I had for dinner. Um, and I've reached a very sad conclusion. Is that I do not particularly care for the sandwiches at Shake Shack. The fries, they're all right. The, uh, the shakes are excellent. But this time I even got the chicken sandwich and it was... It wasn't very good. Like, Popeye's is better. I mean, Popeye's is excellent. Like, Popeye's chicken sandwich is the best fast food chicken sandwich, and I will I will die on that hill. All right, Liz, you can have the super cat suit. You're not gonna wear it. Yeah, like, I'd rather go to Five Guys or 30 Burgers. I'd rather go to 30 Burgers any day of the week. I, first off, I agree with you, Liz. I think you do need to try to make a bad chicken sandwich. Um, but I have wanted to try Culver's so bad. Like, it looks so good. Yeah, okay, so I've, I, that's my usual, the shack stack. And even that sometimes is just kind of like, eh, it's all right. I feel like there's something buried here. Maybe it's treasure. Eh? Oh, it's just a banana. Oh. Well, I guess I suppose the gem isn't here. Yeah, so what they do is they do, it's a big mushroom. And in the big, they fill the big mushroom with cheese. And then they bread it and fry it. And it's amazing. Let's go up. Yeah. Like, they, they even sell that as just, like, a regular sandwich, and it's so good. All right. No noses. Oh. Ooh. Sounds like he's not, like, mushrooms at the very beginning. And I was like, F it. Just let me force myself to leave. Yeah, it's one of those, um, my husband. Michael, Mr. Explosion, never ate mushrooms. And then eventually I convinced him to eat the mushroom. And he doesn't love them, but he does like them a lot more now. Ooh, very rare cactus juice. Eh? There's something in my pocket. It's gonna be a fucking banana. An HP banana! There's a letter with it. <laughs> Dear Rocky, you don't need HP bananas to taste sweet victory, but here's one on the off chance that you do. From Karen. Oh, I forgot to switch Karen back in! Oops. What do you mean he really cares about us? When I was a kid, I get this the smell. Since I had to cook it myself. Ah, uh, yeah, that, I can understand that. Especially, like, okay, if I'm cooking fresh mushrooms, they have that really, like, gross, earthy smell sometimes. So I understand that. Um. I usually go for, I actually really like canned mushrooms. <laughs> so, I eat those. I like the- I love canned mushrooms on pizza. Canned mushrooms and stir-fry, also delicious. Um... I love- I love y'all with the stubborn quirk. It's so good. Yes, canned mushrooms. I do canned mushrooms and I also like the sliced black olives. Ooh, as level up, hooray! Learn spicy dinner! Feed spicy food to the whole party, engulfing all enemies. Yes, mushroom black olive, and I also like, I've, I've discovered that I like ham better than pepperoni. Like, I like pepperoni, but a lot of times my acid, or it's not acid reflux, I don't have acid reflux, but like, um, the, uh, I get, like, heartburn real bad from pepperoni. So sometimes I have to, uh, cut down on that. But ham's usually pretty good in that sense. 
I am next. Okay, next time you come by, list, we're gonna get one. What do you mean you heard something about Karen recently? Extra cheese and pepperoni is also a good combination. I like pep. So it used to be, uh, pepperoni and olives. Bacon's good too. Basically, the only meat I don't like, I don't like uh, Italian sausage on pizza. Bacon is good on, I like bacon on pizza. I like um, pepperoni, I like ham. I don't really do meatballs because meatballs like hit or miss for me. All right, um. <laughs> Cheesy, that's fine. Like, honestly, this is gonna be a hot take. Um, there's no such thing as a bad pizza. There's pizzas that I probably don't wanna eat but, like, other than that, <laughs> always thought sausage on pizza looks like gorilla heads. That's cute. And also, like, okay, there's there's a pizza place down the shore that we go to called Maruka's, and I'm going to show you guys a picture of the pizza from Maruka's. Because it is, it is super, it is super unlike any other pizza that you can get. Also, fair, um, buffalo chicken pizza is a horse of a different color. Very different. So this is Maruka's pizza. And Maruka's is what they call Trenton style pie. And Trenton style pie is wild, let me tell you. But it's so good. Oh, Karen just wants food. I don't have any more food. We ate all the food, Karen. Dude, okay, so cheesy. There's one in I there's one in Asbury Park. Um It's like right on the boardwalk in AP. Uh, but I usually go to the one in Seaside. Because that's the original. I love it. It is so unlike anything else. And it's it's just like, it's unique, but still, and also, also, the slices are the size of my head. Like they literally have 24 inch pies. So this is the, yeah, the swirl. Um, you, o like, you only get like one or two slices, tops. Ooh, open it. Ugh! So many MP candies! So many MP candies. Alright, now we go up. I am the wind! Alright, what we got here? We got... Oh, a fragrant tea. <laughs> Flex on Molly the whole 24... Cheesy, have you ever been to Pete and Elda's? Liz, I know that, that you're probably familiar with at least the location, because I think it's by your old house. Um, but they have... All of their pizzas are just, like... They're, like, cracker crusts, basically. They are so... Okay, there's, there's this thing that they do where you can, like... Oh, I hate that! No, I don't like that at all. Holy fuck. Oh no. But yeah, so anyway, they have a, a competition where if you eat one of the pizzas all, like one of the extra large pizzas all by yourself, they give you like a t-shirt or something. Um, and I, I was there when I had a buddy who was a, who was a Marine and we went to Pete and Elda's for lunch one day and he's like, I'll take the challenge. And he's like, he's this like short Latino dude. And he fucking inhaled that pizza. Oh my God. I have never seen a single person eat so much pizza in my entire life. Yeah, it's, it's so thin too that it's, it feels like a doable challenge. I hate this, I have to buy it.
Oh, I hate it so much. I'm not gonna make you wear it, Liz, but... Yeah, only equip stats. We're, we're magical pals, damn it. And because I feel like it, we gonna get Ez the frying pan. Ez, what do you feel about this one? Do you want to hold this one or do you want the star still? We're with Sausage Nassim not to cut the pizza in slices and bring it out as one whole piece. Did he like roll it up? That is next level. That's amazing. You want the star? Okay, good. That's what I thought, but that one was also really pretty. That is, that is some fucking, like, top tier genius level shit. Oh my god. Ooh, I gotta get... <laughs> mealtime stuff yeah basically but i mean i really like these they're so thin like it's really oh hydrated hydrate give me a second oh another fucking banana table i was getting up to leave they heard him or they sat down again i feel like you've told me this story but it also never gets old so i don't care <laughs> Dude, like I said, I super don't care. It's a great story and one that I think is totally worth sharing with the crowd. <laughs> it was many years ago, never leave me. Yeah, it was probably about, God, it was probably almost like, I wanna say like six, seven years ago that my buddy Chris did the uh, the, the challenge. And like, I, I really like, he is just this, this tiny little dude. And to see him just go so freaking ham on this pizza. Hang on, I gotta see. Pete Melba's pizza challenge. Yeah, here. So I got here's a uh, a picture of the pizza. Copy image link. Have a good rest of the night, Riley. Thank you so much for stopping by. So this is the, the the link I just dropped. That's the pizza from Pete and Elda. So, so you can see it's like, it's so thin. Paper thin, absolutely paper thin. Like rolling it up into burrito makes perfect sense to me. Cactus cool. Yeah, it's, like, it is probably the thinnest thin crust that I'm familiar with around here. It's good, from what I remember. Like I said, it's been forever since I've had it. Um, although I had, you know what, I had a job site there not too long ago, and I was tempted to pick some up. Thin crust barbecue? You know, I've never had barbecue chicken pizza. I've had like buffalo chicken pizza, but I've never had like barbecue chicken pizza. So, oh man. Like, so they, I used, my one buddy, uh, he used to always want to go to California Pizza Kitchen for his birthday. And I always hated it because I never knew what was actually on the pizzas. And I'd spend like three quarters of my time order, like I'd order a pizza and then I would realize it was covered in onions and I'd spend three quarters of my time picking the onions off. But once I realized that I could like order it without onions, uh, it made everything so much better. <laughs> yeah. But that's like the closest I've gotten to Buffalo, ch to a uh, barbecue chicken pizza. Buffalo chicken pizza, when done well, is really good. But it's, I find that it's at least around here hard to find good buffalo chicken pizza.
Oh, yeah, me and Doris are gonna rock this town. Yeah. There's, um... There's a place that we go to occasionally that I first found out about when I was in college because I had a buddy whose girlfriend went to Monmouth for like a year. <laughs> oh, level up for demonic whisper. Try to drag your enemies into the depths. If you're lucky, they'll simply vanish. Holy fuck! Um, but anyway, there, it's one of those, like, late-night places that's open until, like, ass o'clock in the morning. So basically, if anything's open until ass o'clock in the morning, I always want to go. <laughs> Even if it's like, okay, well, I went to bed and then I woke up at three, now we're gonna go get pizza. Um, uh, wow, level 17, boys? Okay, so check on the team. I'm gonna bring... Gionino's name, Popeye pizza, the spinach purple and ricotta with a white butter. Interesting. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so let me check. I think I want to put, all right, Liss and Ez are level eight. Ez and Karen are level six. So I'm going to put Ez and Karen in together. And Karen and Liss are only level five. Okay. So we will do that another time. Oh, as wants money? <gasps> Karen wants an outfit! Finally! The magical pals are happening! Oh my god! Oh my god! Fine, it's gotta be purple. The magical pals are here! Hear the magic, hear the roar. Magical pals are loose. Magic, 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 magic pals! Magic, 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 magic pals! Oh, good job, team! All right, so this must, I wonder if this is gonna be our dig spot. All right, we found the mouth jewel. That's, that's really funny. The concept of mouth jewel. Oh my God, you finished Wendy's quest. I feel like Wendy's quest sounds like a bad Chex quest knockoff. Dark Ruler's in the skyscraper, right? And this is one of the jewels that opened the entrance. All right, let's see if we can find the rest. And then we can climb to the top of the skyscraper. Hang on, I need to take... I need to take a picture of us being magical pals! And teach that darker lord a lesson! Not to mention rescue the great sage! Hold on, Kermit, we won't be long now! <gasps> no, honey! Oh, that little cough cough just fucking destroys me! You're so pathetic! I love you! Oh, look at Karen and Ez! Oh, look at them! Just click! Look at us being magical pals together. Sleepy pals. You're so pathetic at me talking to my cat. More IRL footage. Yeah. Hey. Okay, so I'm gonna put you there. Maybe. How am I? Oh, I'm level 28 with Doris. That's fine. Actually, no. I'm I'm exactly where I need to be because I'm less least friendship with Vesper. Okay. Set off. So I think it is time. Yeah, we gotta go back to the Traveler's Hub. Let's see what we can find here now. 
Level 21? Uh, level 20. Level 21, normal. Punster scientist left shark. Ahem. Do you need something from me? Me, left shark, the foremost authority in the field of robotics? Oh, well, that depends. You don't know anything about jewels? Oh, yes, no worries. No worries, Cheesy. You get some good sleeps. Jewels in the shapes of eyes and noses, to be exact. Hmm, that sounds most peculiar, eh? But I just might have the answer. Follow me. We've not a moment to lose. Search for the weird jewel and sterile plant? Okay. I thought you were going to his Nimbus. Let's go. Nimbus, huh? Interesting. Oh, now we get to go beyond! Delightful! Let's go talk to our, our pal, the roving gourmet. Oh my god, what is that? That looks like a TV dinner. This was made in three minutes? By who? A wizard? I will never turn up my nose at frozen food again! Pardon? Why, I'm the Romeo May, Gordon Ramsay. I think that's fucking Salisbury steak, which is amazing, because I absolutely had that frozen ready meal! I totally had that for dinner earlier this week. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a Michelinas. Okay. Onward! Oh, as in Dor I'm constantly swaying here on Doris's back. It's hard to keep my balance at times. On the upside, it's a great ab workout. <laughs> oh. My grandmother used to love the Michelinas dinners because they were so freaking cheap. What are these? Aging robot and robo pinky? Robo pinky? Oh yeah, definitely is dollar meal. No, no, not charm. Punishing push. Wait, didn't I just get demonic whisper? Yes. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, so that was delightful. Nice hit. Bank oh, dude, yes, I love a good banquet meal. I always like the uh, the ones that would come with like the little, like you got like a little cup of corn and then you got like brownie and then you got like little pieces of corn in the brownie and it was gross, but you ate it anyway. Um. Like, or sometimes it would be pudding. Yeah, or apples, yeah. Like, fucking Kid Cuisines. Man, I miss Kid Cuisine. I'm sure they still exist, but like, fucking Kid Cuisine was the shit. I always really liked the ones that were just like, no, that is totally not weird. Warm pudding's delicious. It's just weird sometimes. So Kid Cuisine is interesting. Um, I'm gonna keep using Demonic Whisper because this is hilarious. I got one of them! Robopengi, no! I need some Sprinks. I gotta be Sprink Dealer. I haven't had the bowl. You know what I really like that Banquet does? Banquet does breakfast pot pies that are, or at least they used to. They used to do one that was a pot pie with like sausage gravy inside, and it was so good. I loved those. And again, 
they're cheap as hell. So fuck yeah. Oh, sweet. Unstable formula. That's good. I love Saucy Trade. That is the one thing that I, uh, I don't get a lot around here, and I wish I did, because I love Sausage Gravy. It was such a good one, and it was really filling, too. Yay, Michael's better! Good job, honey. Do, 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 do. Alright, you guys are level 8 now. That's pretty good. Oh. Oh, I want a new pitchfork. 6,600. Okay, yeah. I'm the- I'm me, so... That's so good. Michael made brisket- or er, sausage gravy once, and it was really pretty good. He did a good job of it. But we get at Costco, only equipped stats because I still have the coolest pitchfork ever. Um, at Costco, we get this, like, these pre-made biscuits, and they're so good. Okay. Off and toodle. Ah, oh, I've collected 12 different types of spears, the preferred epin, epin of the wimp. <laughs> Weapon of the Imp. Alright. Karen and Ez on a horse. On Doris, nonetheless. Okay, I'm just gonna do Punishing Pitchfork right now. Oh, because I just got that new- oh, wow. Oh, this is gonna be beast! Oh, that was so good. Good job, team. So thankful for no noses right now. How about that? Treat. We got some penguin treats. Open. Uh, of course, it's another MP candy. Not like we don't need about 40 of them, but I don't want, like we don't have like 40 of them, rather. Oh, okay. We are never gonna not have healing candy, I swear. All right, this is gonna be Demonic Whisper. Okay, I took one out, that's fine. Nice. Not satisfied! Oh, come on! Pincer! Good, smart us going for the healing cloud. Nice work, team. Oh, and the endorse, just, yes, good boy. Do a mounted attack. Oh, that's so good. Doris wants to see Liss. Let us see. 
Oh. Ah, there it is. Yay, friendship up with doors. Friendship up with doors. Door still is Miss Pals. Okay, let's get you... Ezra level six. Karen. Okay, let's do Karen. Let's, yeah, move Ez up with our Sen. Actually, let's move our Sen in there. <laughs> streaming doors and pals. I mean, that's definitely plausible. Hey, Ash, I hope you're doing okay tonight. It's good to see you, friend. We are oot and a boot in the world of Metopia. Ooh. You know what we gotta do. We gotta go here. We gotta do this quiz with the quiz master. Never any thirst for fun and games. Only me, your friendly neighborhood quiz master. How much you know? General knowledge? Okay, sure, let's give it a shot. I know some things. General knowledge. Okay, let's see. Question one. Who if it's, uh, Mr. Saturn? Duh. Correct! Well done. Question two. This is question number two? Correct. <laughs> well done. Number three. Which side does the sun, ri sun rises in the east and sets in the west? Yay! You did great! That was a weird one! That was a very weird one. I did not expect... Oh good, HP bananas. Just what we needed. Not like, oh, whoa, I went into like hyper mode there without even, I didn't even have any sprinks to go hyper mode, but there I was going hyper mode. Sterile plant. Oh yeah, we've not been here before. This is new. This is cool. Look at this, y'all. Also, this music slaps. Thinking to say because oh nice. Ooh. I heard really good things about Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I so I never played any of the Ratchet and Clank games, but I did get the impression that this was a particularly good one. That's good. What did you think of P5R? The reboot. Ah, I heard that was really good too. The reboot. I wish we could get Doris a magical pal outfit like the rest of us. <gasps> no, you can't take Liss. If I borrow one direction, I was like. It's, yeah, I did, it, it did a lot of stuff I wasn't expecting, which I really appreciated. It was, it was definitely a lot more of a subversion than I expected it to be played as. But I, see, I don't know what, what changed between the original Persona 5 and P5R. Ooh, what is that, Metal Scorpion? My charm. What did you pitch for? But yeah, I really, I like, I like that world. Like the, the, with the P5 characters, I really like them. And then I don't, I don't know if you have any intention of playing Strikers. Um, but Strikers has a character who, there's two, there's two new characters in Strikers that I love. 
and I just did not expect to be as great as I thought they were gonna be. And they're great. Michael's still finishing that one up. We haven't I haven't seen the end of it yet, so. Ah, nice. You're not laughing now. Thanks, left shark. Robo juice, that's a new one. Oh, that's, yeah, we haven't fought, fought that one enemy yet. What's this? Found an odd lever. Of course you're gonna pull it. If I write a new character in two months, a new storyline as well. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to look into that. Because, like, regular Persona 5 made me cry, so I can only imagine that P5R would also make me cry. Like, extra cry. Ooh. Although I'm surprised this game has not made me cry yet. But I think it's because I've played most of it already, so. Oh no, whom? Oh no, Vess, no! I'm so sorry. Do, do, do. Yay! Maybe sort of likes. Are you into no, 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 we're not sleeping yet. No. No sleeps. No sleeps till Brooklyn. Or at least till we find the jewel. Oh, Doris wants to see Karen. Let's go. A fun memory. Of course, getting a fucking MP candy is a fond memory. Oh, rude, Dorse! Very rude! You do not fall asleep in the middle of Karen's exciting story. No, 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 no. Let's get S out of the barn. Vanilla P5 ended at Christmas where P5R goes into February. Ooh, okay. Cool! I will have to see if I can find, like, a, an LP of, like, just the the P5R stuff. Ah, yes, let's do this. So, I would say that I think you can get... I know you can get four on Steam. I don't know if you can get three on Steam. I've seen... I've seen Michael play three, uh, sorry, I've seen Michael play four, and I've watched mo Michael play most of five, and I've been watching him play uh, Strikers, which has been just delightful. Ooh, a new outfit for Ez. Only equip stats, because we magical pals. Basically, I've heard, and this is this is uh, actually uh, your friend De John Des. Uh, has basically given me the impression that like three, four, and five are really good and worthwhile. The earlier games are good in their own right, but don't hold up as well. And then there's like side games and spinoffs and side game spinoffs and But, but yeah, basically, if I trust anybody to have an opinion about, like, uh, Megami Tensei games, it's going to be John. It's, yeah, it's, it's a lot like Kingdom Hearts, but also not in the sense that there are, like, storylines you can follow. <laughs> like, Kingdom Hearts, at, at this point, honestly, I like Kingdom Hearts for the gameplay, because I feel like the gameplay is still the most fun. I can't keep track of what the fuck is going on in those games. They make zero sense to me. And that's okay. They don't they don't have to make sense to me. That's part of the appeal. Um, because then I get to watch um what's his name do? The 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 explaining videos. Uh Barry. Oh, this building, it's all shiny and sparkly. <laughs> That's right. This is where the robots are made. Robots are ultra high-tech machines. They can only be built in extremely clean places. Wow. 
Even the tiny speck of dust is not permitted. Oh, you know what? Absolutely fair with that too, Ash. Like, I... Basically, any chance I got to go into Halloween Town or Space Paranoids or, like, adjacent to Space Paranoids, loved. Loved those. It was cool to see how they kind of fleshed those out, so to speak. Because prior to that, everything had been very just kind of, like, static, whatever. But it was cool to see how they translated them into, like, the 3D and areas that could be explored rather than just, like, background scenarios of a game. Or of a movie. Kingdom Hearts 3. You know what? Michael played Pirate's World while I was asleep. I never saw that one. I'm very mad about that. I saw, like, all of the others, and I did not see Pirate's World. I went to bed, and he played that one while I was asleep. Yeah, that's okay. I'm sure I'll see it eventually. Cause I know um, Karen has a PS4 and eventually we'll get that thing set up. You can put up the game and go next to the level. Oh man, that's cool. <laughs> Fallout Force. I love Fallout Force. I think that was the thing. Oh wow, really? That's cool. But that was like the one thing I didn't really they, they made some weird choices for worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, in my opinion. We just, they just made some strange choices that I wasn't always on board with. Holy crap! It's just got one shot? Yeah, Frozen World, I feel like that was definitely really shoehorned. I'm like, that's mostly just because everybody loves Frozen. I just, I... Mm. Yeah, Toy Story's world was fun. Um, Tangle's world was cute. I liked, um... Oh, what were some of the other ones? Frozen... Fro okay, Frozen's world sucked because, first off, I hate Olaf. And three quarters of that game is just finding pieces of Olaf to put back together. And that was so annoying. Um, Toy Story was great. I didn't particularly like uh, New Fransokyo or Neo Fransokyo or whatever it was. Yeah. I, hadn't, I haven't seen Big Hero 6. So that one didn't leave as much of an impact. Um, Monsters, Inc., I, I've seen the movie, like, in bits and pieces, so that one was cute. I just was a little, I, I, the thing I liked about the Monsters, Inc. movie, or the, the Monsters, Inc. zone, and what I always appreciate with zones like that, is that they did, like, weird, um, I love weird, uh, transferring of, uh, what's it called? When you get cool costumes, I love getting cool costumes. Like in um, the Lion King area and... Yeah, so basically anywhere you get like a cool costume, I'm okay. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, like when you like get to blend in with the area so you don't stick out too much. All right, who wants anything? Um, oh, Karen wants a new sword. No, no, not on your life, no. You don't get that. Okay, as you get that, that's cute. Even though we're not wearing it, you're definitely gonna get that one. Halloween uniform, look, it's so cute! Oh, you missed what Karen's was? I will go back and show you when we get back. The absolutely not here. This is, this is the absolutely not. <laughs> this is the not happening. I am, mm, I guess it has to happen. Cause Karen is my strongest hitter, but wow, do I hate that. 
It's a sword, but it looks like an arm. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I am putting, no, you are only equip stats. No, ugh, no. Ugh, okay, Liz doesn't want anything, so. At least this is a nose. Oh, we can eat grub. Let's eat grub. Oh, Karen really didn't like whatever she just ate. Sorry. All right. So that opened up a hidden pathway. And I will take that, but not right now, because I want to do this first. See if I can get that, uh... See if I can get that, like, level ups and or the levels and stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I want to see Karen hit with that awful nose now. Penguin treat stolen. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna do Demonic Whisper, because this is very funny to me. Yes, good, that's the one I wanted gone. Also, the nice thing I appreciate about Demonic Whisper, I appreciate that it is it actually like kills the enemy and doesn't it doesn't just make it run away. Oh, I wonder if I could use that on a fucking snurp. Okay, a great mouse detective world would be super fun. I would love to see basically how they would interpret that. I mean, it's basically just London, but like small London. Good. Robo juice. Because so I feel like, I wonder if they could, like, use similar assets from the, um, uh, Peter Pan levels. Because it's, Peter Pan just is London too, but it would be most different, and I appreciate it. Okay, yeah. I liked the Peter Pan levels because I liked the, the concept of flight, even if we never really used it that well, in my opinion. And it always took forever to learn glide in, uh, like, especially in the first game. All right. You are not laughing now. Gross lizard tail. Hmm, okay. Like, once you got glide, everything was awesome, but then it always took forever to get glide. Hmm. Is there something on me? There was a threat on your shoulder. It was driving me nuts! Thanks! Aww. We stand together! Yes, another lever! Pull the lever, Kronk! Ooh, hidden path opened up, okay! Wasn't expecting that one, cool! We'll definitely do that and then we will get our... Treasure! All right, level up for Karen and Liz. Very good. Level six, sort of likes. Ah, now you know lend a hand, good. Please don't be a candy or a banana. No, just a little bit more guys, just a little bit more. I'm gonna try to get through. Oh, I just noticed that the on the wall was the map. Okay. Oh, key brought a present. Went shopping. Got you something. Key gave a present to Loops. What, for me? And it's... 
cuddly body. <gasps> oh, shiny. Loops is very pleased. Yay! Yay, that's exciting. That makes me happy. That was so cute. Uh-oh. Vesper likes Key and saw it all. It's literally not always loops, Vesper. What the fuck? Calm yourself. All right, let's get some doors time. Vesper is making choices out here. Doors looks lonely. I'm back! I brought some sweets to share. Ah, doors level up. Okay, so I'm gonna put Liz back with Karen. And then Liz looked like she wanted to spend some gold. So let's, oh, she wants a new cow. Whoa, hero claws? Okay. You're not gonna like actually, like you're gonna wear those, but you're not gonna like display those. But those are balls. Look at that attack, 146. How could I say no? All right, set off. So I think I'm gonna finish up this part of the map and then probably call it a night. Ah, 12 different types of claws, the preferred weapon of the cat. Beefy attack for sure. Oh yeah, definitely for stat only, don't worry. I ain't about to do you dirty like that. That's not very nice. <laughs> All right, open it. Hell dog? Where do you get hell dogs from? Besides that chest right there. That was amazing. Hell <laughs> probably. Dynastic soup. Ooh, yummy. Open. Ooh, turkey curry. That looks really good too, the turkey curry. Okay, so that was that little side detour and now it is time, oh no, who? Arsen, no! Oh, my poor dear. Oh. I was shocked to hell dog come from heaven. Well, all hell dogs go to heaven. Oh, level 15 for you two. Okay. You know what? That's very valid. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, uh, we're gonna set off. Cause now it is time. Oh, I'm so happy we finally got that proper costume. All right, let's see what we got here. Is this gonna be a battle or? I guess we'll find out. This place is absolutely fantastic. Now then, where are we to find this jewel? Oh, dear me. Oh, come on, what on robot earth? Love shark! Robo left shark? Oh, heck no. Oh, what? That was a good hit. <gasps> okay, horse whisper. Pokey pokey. I think you've seen this movie before. <laughs> some good damage. All right, so I want these for me and for Liz. Sprint us up. 
gonna do some regular hit points. And then... Uh, Hyper Sprinks! Let's go! Oh no. Gifts of divine power. Shield Sprinkles power awakened! Give me a one-time protection from damage. Oh, we got new Sprinks! That's cool! New Sprinks, finally! This is- man, we haven't got new Sprinks in a long time! Oh, is this gonna be- oh, I wish it were pincer. That would've been awesome. This is gonna be pincer! Yes! This is gonna be- oh my god, that was amazing. Double pincer! Oh, frick yeah! And it's down! That was baller. That was so good. Most impressive. <laughs> We're all like sprinked out. Safe and sound. Robo juice two star. Ooh. Do 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 do. Am I back to normal? Oh yeah, no, I, I'm making sprinked out a thing. To think that I, a scholar of robotics, nearly became a robot, ha! <laughs> Who would have thought of such a thing possible? Oh yes, while well, you're here. Um, around here, wasn't it? Nose, ah, this is what you were after. Oh yes, that's it! You got the nose jewel. Well, here, please take it. Thank you. All right, so we got our nose jewel. We finished Left Shark's quest. That's two jewels for the skyscraper we found now. Two down, two to go. So, we're only halfway there. Be positive, we're already halfway there! Let's do this! Oh, oh, we didn't even get our photographer. Okay, fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save and quit from here. Um, because I, photographer was very sad the last time, uh, but I am, I got work in the morning, so I need to wrap up for the night. Let me see who is live. Nobody? Nobody's live? Really? Okay. Well, in that case, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Where's my full screen? Where's my full screen at? Thank you so much for hanging out. It was really good to see you all. Um, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure I may stream tomorrow. I may not stream tomorrow. It depends on how I'm feeling after work. Um, but everybody take care. Be well. Much love to you all. And I will see you on either tomorrow or Tuesday to find those next two jewels. Later.